What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo Switch and what the initial thoughts were at their Nintendo Switch event on January 12th. Uh, that event for me was very lacking. I really thought Nintendo dropped the ball. I know that the Japanese culture is very, very different than it is here in the West, but I just, it didn't excite me and it, it didn't resonate with me as a gamer. It didn't make me excited about the Nintendo Switch. And honestly, I felt a little less excited about it after I saw their conference. Uh, they just they didn't show any games that really excited me. The people on stage didn't have that energy. They weren't really sure of themselves. No one really seemed confident. It seemed a little unprofessional. Uh, you know, let's switch over to this person. Like you don't know who the next guy is. It just didn't seem like it was planned out really well to me. And so at the end of that conference, I just felt like Nintendo had dropped the ball. One of the big complaints of the Nintendo Switch event that, that occurred was that there weren't any really good games. The Nintendo Switch lineup, at least the launch lineup, looked horrible. The only game that really people are going to be talking about is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's really it. That's the only reason that people are going to be excited about the Switch in March when it launches. You can't really say that the other games were like top tier games, super exciting, ARMS, uh, one, two, Switch, these games just, to me, were just boring as hell. And I, I mean, to me, they, they look like free games. I think I think ARMS probably looked like maybe a $20 game, 30 at the most. Uh, but that one, two, Switch, you don't even use the Switch. You look across to the other person you're playing with, you look them in the eyes. That's supposed to be exciting? Get the hell out of here. So there's been a lot of backlash against Nintendo about the impending launch of their console and the lack of launch games. And Nintendo's president has come out with a response to this criticism, and I wanted to share it with you. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo president responds to weak Nintendo Switch launch lineup complaint. After the Nintendo Switch presentation 2017, many were left excited about the console's potential, but there was a widespread concern around the number of games that will be available at launch. Nintendo president Tatsumi Kimishima is listening to such worry, and at the company's corporate management policy briefing, looked to explain the approach that they are taking with Nintendo Switch. This sees Nintendo place importance on being able to, quote, provide new titles regularly without long gaps, end quote, an issue that Wii U quickly became notorious for. Quote, here are the announced first party titles that will follow the system's launch, releasing through 2017 in Japan. Some of those who have seen this lineup have expressed the opinion that the launch lineup is weak, Kimishima had explained. Quote, our thinking in arranging the 2017 software lineup is that it is important to continue to provide new titles regularly without long gaps. This encourages consumers to continue actively playing the system, maintains buzz, and spurs continued sales momentum for Nintendo Switch. For that reason, we will be releasing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, ARMS, which was making its debut on the Nintendo Switch during the first half of 2017, and Splatoon 2, which attracted consumers' attention most during the hands-on events in Japan in summer of 2017. We believe that these titles exemplify the concept of the Nintendo Switch, which is to be able to play anywhere with anyone at any time, and will expand and invigorate competition between players. Splatoon 2 in particular will offer voice chat, a much-requested feature from our overseas fans, using smart devices and the ability to bring eight Nintendo Switch consoles together for eight-person local multiplayer. In this way, we are working to create titles and environments to invigorate the competitive gaming scene so that a wider demographic of consumers can enjoy, talk about, and continue playing the Nintendo Switch, end quote. The Nintendo Switch will launch worldwide on Friday, March 3rd, priced at $299. That's a booty-ass excuse, to be totally honest. You know, and I respect what this guy's doing, but that doesn't speak to, to me, you know, that doesn't answer the question as to why your lineup sucks. You can say that we're going to release, you know, a few games every month, but that has nothing to do with why your initial launch lineup is so weak. The Nintendo Switch has been baking in the oven now, probably for three years. You know, we heard about it. They were going to, you know, reveal it in 2016. They, they changed that. We heard about it in 2015. Here we are in 2017, and we're about to get this thing. They had plenty of time to get talented developers on first-party games. Nintendo has some very meaningful IPs that people have grown up with, we've grown old with, and if we saw a true return to form for some of these games, it would just, you know, it would make us very, very pleased and excited and make us want to go back and play some of these franchises we grew up with. But no, that's not the case. We have The Legend of Zelda. We get Mario late in 2017. It might even be delayed knowing Nintendo, but those aren't the only franchises. They got Kid Icarus. They got Metroid. 
they got Donkey Kong. I mean, they got so many other things that they can do. All these characters. I mean, just look at Smash Brothers. Each one of those characters has a, a game that they could make around that character. But instead, we get ARMS. We get 1-2 Switch. That doesn't answer the question at all. And it's really an unsatisfactory answer. And you, and you danced around the question. You danced around the issue. And you're talking about stuff that's coming later. You know, the first impression is a lasting impression. And to me, it's one of the most meaningful ones. If Nintendo Switch launches and the games on it suck, people are not going to want to play it. If it launches and it has meaningful games that are up to par with what we're playing now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and just great fun games, then people are going to be excited about it. But all we have to look forward to is one game. I think that Nintendo might be hurting themselves in this situation. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I being hypercritical? Is me saying that The Legend of Zelda is the only good launch game, is that being is that going a little too far? Or do you guys think that some of the other games that you saw that you know are coming for launch are actually going to be, you know, top tier exciting experiences like ARMS or like 1-2 Switch? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also tell me what Nintendo franchise you'd like to see coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, call.